What's going on, friends? John Pierce Johnson here, and welcome back to Stomp Box Saturday. Hope you guys are having an awesome day and are doing well. I know I am because what we have on the Stompin' Block is by far one of my all-time favorite fuzz pedals in a small package that I finally can say that it is in my collection. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for your stomping consideration the Way Huge Electronics Smalls Swollen Pickle Mark III. Man, I love nothing more than running a big old big muff into the front of my orange rocker verb 100 and with my Les Paul, or any other guitar for that matter. It's just outside of the normal dirty channel. It's like home for me and I just love the sound so much. And the first time I heard a swollen pickle on recording, which I believe was Incubus's Crow Left of the Murder, I just was enthralled by this fuzz sound generated by this very funnily named uh, fuzz pedal. Of course, at the time, I didn't realize how much an original one of those was going to cost me. I think it would cost more than an arm and a leg these days. But never fear, because the intrepid George Trips brought back Way Huge many years ago, and the Swollen Pickle was part of that resurrection. However, over the course of several years, the Way Huge Swollen Pickle Mark II has been further refined and put into smaller enclosures, and now we arrive with the Smalls swollen pickle and I am very happy that this is the one that I get to check out. So let's go ahead, throw the pedal up on the screen, take a look at the controls, see how it's different from the original and subsequent reissues of the swollen pickle and then we'll get down to the sounds. One thing I should say is this is the Smalls Swollen Pickle and it looks awesome, but let's cut to a little size comparison for you of different way huge pedals. So let's try this. Here's the camel toe, which of course is like a double pedal. And here is my way huge fat sandwich, one of the sort of resurrection pedals. Next you see my blue hippo analog chorus. Finally, next to that, the swollen pickle smalls version. So as you can see, considerably smaller than the original way huge enclosure, definitely smaller than the double enclosure, and even smaller still than the slim enclosure that Way Huge had started to use for pedals a few years back. So pedal board friendly and big tones, that is the kind of stuff that we like here on the show. So let's take a look at these controls. Loudness. I love that it's loudness and it's not volume. We have filter, which is going to be our tone control. And then we have sustain, which is basically going to be the amount of fuzz and distortion that is generated by this little guy right here. And then we have two toggle switches labeled crunch and scoop. Now on the reissues, those were actually uh, little trim pots, little tiny knobs that you could adjust uh, to various different degrees. But I think what we have here with this refinement of the circuit is that it was very clear that there are places where people liked the crunch and the scoop. I feel like eight out of 10 times, guys, when they buy a swollen pickle are gonna wanna go for that classic, big, muffy styled fuzz that the swollen pickle is famous for. So instead of a dial, we have two positions adjusting the scoop of the mid range. And then the crunch basically adjusts different levels of compression within the fuzz. I don't think it's really all that necessary for us to hear the whole range of the knobs um, because the Swollen Pickle has been out for years and it's kind of well known for that. So I think what we're gonna dive in first is we're going to take a look at both the scoop and the crunch and see how those can work with different types of guitars. <laughs>
So you can definitely hear that shift in the mid range with that scoop control. This I feel would really come in handy because we don't all play the same amplifier and some amplifiers have much more of a scooped mid-range tone, like your classic American type amps, like Fenders and you know derivatives of such. But amplifiers like my Orange and like certain Marshalls and Voxes might have a healthy mid-range content, a high watts, definitely. As a matter of fact, I think that's a lot of the magic of David Gilmore's use of Big Month style fuzzes. Those high watts he had were very high headroom, but they had a really healthy mid-range content to their overall tone. You put a scooped mid-range fuzz into that kind of sound, everything just becomes one and it homogenizes really well. But if you put scooped fuzz in front of a scooped amplifier, it's gonna have a tendency to sound pretty hollow. All you gotta do, Flick that scoop switch and that gives you a little bit of a different mid-range curve that might work well on say a twin reverb or a Princeton or anything really made by Fender. But then we have crunch, which is much more of the compression of the fuzz. I'm gonna leave it in the scoop position for now. So let's take a listen to what that does. <laughs> Basically, it just feels like it's a bit more open to me. Uh, not quite dynamic. There's still some compression going on there. When you're playing a Swollen Pickle, you're not going to be getting like fuzz face tones. You're getting big wall of sound kind of stuff. And that's what we like. That's what we love. And that is what I am going to do with this thing. Let's go ahead and try this particular sound with the crunch down and the scoop down because we didn't hear that. So let's, let's take a listen. <laughs> the swollen pickle excels at big gargantuan wall of sound fuzz but I highly recommend you guys check out the lower range of the sustain knob. What I've done here is I've dialed in more of a crunchy fuzz tone getting a lot of help from both the scoop and crunch toggle switches being in the down position. <laughs>
pretty crunchy. Muff time. Pickle time. <laughs> my friends the way huge smalls swollen pickle mark three jumbo fuzz it has been a long time since i first heard the swollen pickle and finally i have one in the pedal collection i am very happy for it of all the fuzz pedals i've played and i've played a lot of them you guys know if you've been watching the channel for any length of time the big muff style fuzz is where i feel most at home and the one that has kind of taken the cake has been that op amp big muff that my wife gave to me as a Christmas present. She has never bought me a pedal before and that was the one. But when I plugged this thing in and started testing it out and playing around with it, even she had to come up here into the studio to tell me how good it sounded. So when the wife says a pedal sounds awesome, you know it's gotta be good. And I trust her a lot with my sound because after all, She's the one that has often helped produce my guitar tracks for my band, as well as helped produce a lot of these early demos that I have done on this channel. So if anybody knows my guitar playing style and knows the kind of sounds that I like, she knows them almost just as well, if not better than I do myself. So big, big round of applause to the genius that is George Tripps for this new version of the Swollen Pickle. This is probably gonna end up on the main pedal board, but until we get to that build video, I would love to know what you guys thought of the Swollen Pickle Jumbo Fuzz Mark III. Use the comment section below to let me know what you thought, and if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, click the subscribe button, and ring the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video that gets uploaded. But if you'd like to see any of that content before anyone else in the world, or just feel like supporting the channel so that the content keeps coming, please consider joining my Patreon page today as a patron. You can find that link in the description below. Thank you so much for spending part of your weekend with me. I hope you enjoy the rest of yours. I certainly know I will with this pedal in my collection. And until next week, my friends, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson, wishing you all out there great tone and happy stomping. Cheers, friends. See you next time.